Yep, here we are. How is everyone doing? You no, know, I've seen uh, um, Paul the Gate City Picker was first. What's up, Paul? Yep, here we are. Oh, let's see. How uh, is everyone doing? Mute that. <laughs> Seems like I do that every time. There's a delay, of course. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got to talk about that idea, too. Got lots of stuff to talk about. I got to put the drawers in so I don't hit my elbow. Got our auction lots preview. Hey, Michelle. How's it going? This uh, typical Virginia weather recently, right? Because uh, so we had super hot, and then yesterday it was like chilly. It was like, but today it's fine. So yeah, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, yesterday, dogs. <laughs> hope everyone's eBay sales are doing well, doing everything well. You now. Uh, Whatever you do, Poshmark, Etsy, Amazon, yeah, just nail it all. We do it all, don't we? Hey, Gina, how's it going this morning? Steampunk Town, how's it going? Thank you for popping in. Get my handy little list here. Um, yeah, hope everyone's not in withdrawals from no uh, <laughs> live videos. I know I haven't done anything recently, but... Uh, Hey, Karen, how are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Hope those storms miss you that rolled through the uh, Midwest. Oh, that's awesome, Paul. Let me know how that works out. Uh, yeah. That's awesome. See, financial-wise, of course. <laughs> hey, Joe. How's the, how you doing down in Conway, Arkansas? Hope the storms missed you as well. Heard there's some doozies rolling through there. Being, hey Mary, how you doing? Robert Lee, good morning. If you're a Lee, you may be related to me. My uh, mother's side of the family is Lees, L E E, via Virginia and Kentucky to Arkansas. So, yeah. Hey Dan, NH guy, how's it going? Long time no see. Yeah, typical. Hey, when I moved to Virginia, they when they had bad weather. I kind of laughed, I giggled because, you know, I grew up in Arkansas and I went to college in Oklahoma, college in Oklahoma. Sorry, I'm talking a little bit weird. I had some more dental done yesterday. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But uh, yeah, when you grow up in Arkansas and Oklahoma, yeah, they don't have bad weather out here. Yeah, that's what I'd be curious about, Paul, because, uh, yeah, you know, cross posting the, <laughs> see what I mean? I'm uh, cross posting. <laughs> Hey, we probably are, Robert, because if you're a Lee from Kentucky, we probably are related, more than likely. So, that's pretty cool. Welcome, cousin. <laughs> uh, they were from, um, um, God, I've been there. I actually went there and visited the old family. The Kentuck Lake area, basically, is where they're from. So, yeah. Adam's Exploits, welcome, welcome. Thank you for popping in. I always enjoy your shows, man. Hope you're doing okay. Oh yeah, uh, Michelle is a. She is a. She's everywhere. She's a. She's awesome. <laughs> a long time supporter. She was one of my first subscribers. So yeah, we appreciate that. Yeah, busy, busy. I don't know how some of the. You know the. I totally admire all these YouTube creators that are able to do these shows every day. Admire the heck out of them because I am so busy. I'm about to go out of my mind. <laughs> and i you know i just do the two maybe three videos a week you know so yeah i totally admire those guys that, and gals that can do that that's totally awesome oh that's cool joe we'll have to check that out hey keith hope you're doing well yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I, I want to do live videos more and shows more, you know, because I'm all about helping people and, uh, yeah, but uh, busy. <laughs> Good morning, John. Dad's Vintage Garage. How you doing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I, I enjoy your interviews, Adam. They're, they're, they're really interesting. So, yeah, uh, eBay's been doing well, and I'm probably going to do a video about this, but um hang on a second sorry uh 
Okay. But of course, like eBay rolling through the holidays into January was okay. But February and March for me was just bad, it was like really bad sales wise. Um, but I tinkered with some stuff and I figured out some stuff and talked to some people I trust. Um, and I finally think I figured out a formula for this stuff for, that works for me. You know, all this stuff is just people talk about Cassini this and algorithm that, but, uh, in, um, April and May so far this month, I've done really well. I mean, really well, uh, numbers where I want to be at. You know, being a solo flying by myself listing, you know, my wife helps me source, of course. But other than that, it's all on me, you know, listing, taking pictures, cleaning stuff, repairing stuff, shipping stuff. It's all me. Um, but I think I'm going to do a video about what I have, what my process has been to make that happen the past few months. So and I think it'll help people. I really do. I just I didn't want to jump the gun like in April when things were going well in case that was an anomaly. But now that we're almost through May and it's still going well, I think I'm going to do a video about it. So yeah. Uh, Adams. Uh, oh yeah. Adam says there's a lot. I don't know how they come up with material. Plus now with the one K requirements, more difficult. Plus I stink with editing. Uh, editing is probably the biggest learning curve. And when it comes to YouTube and I am super fortunate, I could figure this out. I know I could, but it's a big learning curve. Um, but I'm super fortunate. My wife is really good at editing. I mean, superb at editing. So to her, it's just like natural. Well, it's natural. She learned it all, but her, her, her college education was in, um, architectural studies and interior design. That's what she's educated as. That's not what she's doing now, but, doing that stuff she was exposed to a lot of autocad and revit and that kind of all <laughs> sinks together and is all you know part of the same bucket once you know one you know you know it's easier to figure out the others oh yeah joe joe says it's tough juggling uh work and making content for youtube it is and and i still want to get out and do my metal detecting stuff I, and i've went out once but i didn't make a videos because what i wanted to do i got a new not a new i bought it used off ebay but i got a new to me machine a metal detector and i got out last week and actually figured it out you know all the form the functions of it and uh yeah and uh, now that i got that figured out i'm gonna try to make a video <laughs> oh gosh uh, Keith says he scored some great special forces gear last weekend. Already got big payday on only two jackets so far. That's awesome, man. And that's, we have a big leg up cause we know kind of about the military stuff, you know, obviously our own era, but we know in general about it. So yeah, my best military find was a, uh, a world war two rain slicker that I sold, I sold that for like 150 bucks or something. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Found that at a charity thrift for like two bucks. <laughs> That's good stuff. Hey, Mary McQueen. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Appreciate it. Uh, Adam says he's having problems with Cassini and the good till canceled. I have a lot of dead wood items. I'm not even trying auctions and they aren't working. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I get it. <laughs> I really get it. I have a lot of those items too. Oh, that's a stupid thing. Um, a lot of long tail items and, uh, yeah, it's tough now that with that change and you have to be careful with, uh, and I don't know if they fixed that or not, but they were, you know, back when it was, you know, you could do 30 days or good deal cancel. I would do 30 days because, you know, I had to say I had a thousand item store. I had a premium store, which I do. And I'm about to change my second one to a premium store. I had that thousand item. I could watch that thousand items and time things where I'm not getting charged listing fees. You know, I could say on the 31st I've used all my thousand items and I have a group of stuff that ended or right now that would automatically get relisted and I may get charged relisting fees. Whereas I had 30 days, I could wait till the first and then relist them and my thousand had already started over. Makes sense. Complicated. I know, but I know that was the first issue that eBay ran in when they changed with this good to cancels was people going, wait a minute. I would have just waited a day. You know, why are you charging me relisting fees? You know? So yeah. 
it's crazy. They're going to do what makes them the most money, period. You know, so. Yeah, it is what it is, but I will do that video. I just got to find the time. Uh, let me see here. I'm looking at my list. Okay. And welcome, part-time pickers. Welcome. Nismo 33, what detector did you get? I've always had Garrett. So I actually used to be an official Garrett dealer when I had my flea market antique malls when I owned those two. I was a Garrett dealer. Not really money in that. Sorry, there's just not because online stuff and everything. But uh, what was cool about it is I was able to buy my own stuff. But I've always used the Ace series just because I wasn't able to afford the higher end stuff. But I do have an Infinium, a Garrett Infinium for beach hunting and, you know, uh, salt water. But my newest one I got when I got an AT Pro, uh, which I've always wanted. And now that they came out with the AT Max, the AT Pro prices have came down. So, uh, yeah, I got the AT Pro out and figured it out. And it seems pretty good so far. I was out, I was only out there testing for like 15 minutes and I found a modern quarter, a penny and a piece of copper wire. <laughs> and I was like, okay, hey, this works pretty well. Better than the, uh, the A series for sure. Appreciate it, Joe. I, Adam, yes, I do. I do have a rare earth magnet and it's around here somewhere. You got to be careful with those things, but, uh, yeah. I actually enjoy getting in the water. So, uh, and I have a pickaxe with a rare earth magnet on the end of it as well. So that should be fun. We will talk about the auction stuff. I promise. I got it right here. <laughs> and we will talk about that. I promise. Uh, Good morning, Sha Sha. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they've changed a lot, Keith. Uh, back in the day, they would just, you know, bet you're basically digging everything. But now with the discrimination and the sensitivity of the ma these machines, yeah, they're pretty good. They, they can be pricey, but uh, they're pretty good. Yep, absolutely. The Ace Series, I started out with the Ace 150, I believe it was. And I still have it. I don't use it anymore. But it's good to have around just in case, you know, I have a niece or a nephew or a kid wants to use one. I can be here. Take this. <laughs> Go have fun. John, welcome, John. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, buddy, repping the N64. Enjoyed your stuff, John. And John and, me, and everybody in here that doesn't know, I'm sure you do, but John just had a baby boy a couple weeks ago, Sawyer, and the most adorable baby in the world. And so go check out his recent videos. He's taken Sawyer garage selling with him. The good luck baby. He's had some good luck with that. And so, yeah. Hey, David, how's it going? Yeah, oh, me too. I'm 0311 all the way. I'm just a dumb grunt. That's for sure. Like I said, my, my wife is the brains of this operation. <laughs> that's awesome, man. I don't am. And everybody knows this about me. We don't have kids of our own and uh, I won't get into that, but there's reasons. Um, but we have 15 nieces and nephews, 14 or 15. I'm losing track. I can't even count that high. <laughs> my mad cow marbles blowing around up top so uh okay oh and then john also went over ten thousand subscribers man it was like a meteoric rise it was awesome i was i was keep i was watching it it's pretty cool up there with uh with ronnie and still got a ways to catch lonnie ronnie and lonnie <laughs> but that was really cool it's always feels good when you hit those like i've I'm a couple hundred short of 2000 and I'm like, Oh, it'd be nice to get over 2000, you know, those nice round numbers, but, uh, it's been slow going, but that's the way it is, you know, just pumping out the content, doing what we do. Okay. So, um, going to do a video about what I've done with my eBay stuff. And I will do that. I promised someone, I think it was a uh, Anissa. I haven't seen Anissa in a while, but, uh, I promised her a long time ago, I would do a video about putting videos in ebay listings uh, and the way i do it i think uh justin already did one but i think i do it a little bit differently he does not that anything's wrong you know it's just doing it way differently but I, i'll try to do one of those two i got a whole lot of if you've watched my haul videos i got a whole lot of electronics to list so i'm going to do a lot of uh test videos i love and i love to put test videos in electronics just to show people it's working perfectly you know go through all the settings and everything so yeah but I did go to the dentist yesterday. I still am in the process of getting that implant on this side. 
yesterday they put in, you know, they initially put in the, uh, the anchor basically down in your jawbone and they let that heal for a couple months. And yesterday I went back and they punched through the gum again and put the post in it, whatever they call that, that the crown is going to, you know, or whatever to basically let the gums get used to that. So I got a piece of metal right here. It feels weird on my tongue. And in a couple weeks, I go back for impressions. And then after we get back from vacation, they'll actually set the crown. It's like a four or five month process. So, but I'm speaking weird because that metal piece like hits my tongue. I'm like, bah, bah. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. So auction stuff. Oh, it was, it was painful. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I wasn't in a great mood yesterday and put it that way. So, <laughs> Uh, oh, that's awesome, David. I love D and D stuff. I used to play D and D. I was, I'm, I'm such an enigma. I'm such a weird, I mean, it's not bragging, but I'm just a weird dude because like in high school, I played sports. I played football and baseball and basketball and track did the shot put, you know, the whole deal I was on the mile relay. Um, uh, but also was in the chorus. I was in choir. I love to sing. Uh, not that good at it anymore because if you're with your vocal cords, basically, if you don't use them, you lose them. You know, it's like any muscle. But uh, I also love playing D&D. I was a jock. I love playing D&D. <laughs> There's science fiction. I love the Dragonlance series of science fiction fantasy. Yep. He's out in Germany. Yep. Yep. Uh, in, uh, what is today? The 20... Second, yeah, next month we go on vacation as well. I'm like I said on uh, June fifth. I have the uh, I get the impressions made. Three days after that, we're leaving for California and Hawaii, and be there for two weeks. I got we're going to Hawaii, and we're uh, coming back to San Diego for my Marine Corps reunion with some friends, and then coming back here June twenty second or twenty third. I can't remember. So, yep, I'll probably do a couple of videos in Hawaii. So. Look out for those. When <laughs> yeah, I found a couple of Warhammer, uh, the miniatures. I've sold a few of those. And that's pretty cool stuff. Good morning, Glenn. Swamp Picker. How's it going? Okay, so we got our first auction lot was these these games. Maybe it follows me on social media. I'm going to flip over here so I can see what I'm showing. But we got a whole box full of the... Um, I forgot my list upstairs, but they're, they're the small games. They're the Nintendo... You know, like Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. I got them bundled up in stacks of 10 because there's so many of them. There's like 165 games in this box. 165. Yep. 165. You know, and I'm not going to say they're anything spectacular, but there's some good stuff in here. I didn't cherry pick them at all. I did not list these. Any of these. There's a Harry Potter on that one. Into this one's a Dr. Mario. But there's a there's a mix of uh yeah Game Boy I think these are Game Boy Advance I can't remember yeah Game Boy Advance games I have the breakdown of list upstairs and I put it on social media as well but a lot of Game Boy games and Game Boy Advance one Nintendo DS one I had a few uh people on my auction that loved the video games so put up a video game lot it's good stuff yeah this was pretty cool let's check out this uh, Game Boy this Pokemon pinball takes like a battery that's for the original game boy so yeah some good stuff on that lot let's see what you guys are up to oh hey rosa thank you for popping in um Yeah, the, the games, there's a lot of uh, a lot of variety there. A lot of money, you know, a lot of money that can be made there. Because even if, you know, those small games, you're looking at even at, you know, $5 a pop, you know, they're a, it's a pretty good value. Let me see here. Okay, everybody. Rosa says, greetings, uh, peace. Good sales, blessing to your family. That's what Rosa says there. If everyone doesn't know Spanish, <laughs> thank you, Rosa. Gracias. 
Uh, let me see here. Yeah, the video game stuff is pretty good stuff. <laughs> Maria says, I'm going to win this auction round. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. I really do. Of course, I'm not going to show them, but I have uh, two mystery boxes. Uh, I've already got all the stuff in them. They're sitting right over there. Um, full of good stuff. And this isn't just junk. This is just stuff I'm trying to clear out that I don't have time to get to. It's stuff that I bought to list on eBay that I just don't have time to get to. I'm trying to clear out the old death pile. And um, yeah, two boxes full. Uh, I'll have an exact item count come auction night. But these have you know, like 20 to 40 items in each box and one box, one out of the two will have at least one item that'll sell for at least a hundred dollars minimum of a hundred dollars. So yeah. Hey, there's my sister, Bobby Wilson. Everybody say hello to Bobby. Hope you're doing well today, sis. When is my, my niece, Kelsey's getting her wisdom teeth out. Did Kelsey get her wisdom teeth out? <laughs> My niece, Kelsey, just finished up her freshman year in college. So that was a big deal. I'm very, very, very proud of her. So, uh, yeah. Yep. I'm sure my sister is working this morning. Uh, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Uh, uh, the video game lot and uh, the mystery boxes. Yeah, they'll have at least one item in one of the mystery boxes that'll be worth at least a hundred bucks for resale and maybe more it's a mystery box <laughs> but um yeah the way that's going to work is I, the, i'll have them numbered one and two and i'll open up the uh item up for bid and whoever wins the bid can pick a box they can say i want number two or they can buy both of them for two times the money say they win the bid for a hundred dollars then if they want one of them, they can pay, they can just pick one number two for a hundred dollars plus shipping, or they can take both of them and it'd be, you know, a hundred dollars each, $200 plus shipping. So totally up to whoever wins, but I think that'll be fun. Got a puppy, got a puppy. So next up is our Sony Vio laptop. This was my wife's laptop about two laptops ago. <laughs> we bought this brand new in 2010. And this, I mean, it's a decent laptop. Um, I've redid it. I've, re I've reformatted the hard drive, reinstalled Windows. It has Windows 7, which, in my opinion, is not a bad operating system. And this has full 1080p, blah, 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 Intel Core 7. I put the details. The only issue with this laptop, the single, well, it's got two issues. It does have a little burn in around the edge of the screen, which I'll turn on and show during the auction. It doesn't affect you seeing anything, but you can just tell a little shadow around the edge of the screen. And the battery doesn't hold a charge that great, but it includes its AC adapter, you know, so just leave it plugged in. It'll work just like a regular computer, but it works fine. I wouldn't sell it if it didn't work fine. <laughs> and people ask, well, why don't you just sell it on eBay? Well, the one thing I know for sure about eBay is that, and I've experienced, experienced this personally, is you list i mean not that people can't do it but people listing you know like uh apple products phones ipods airpods or laptops get scammed the most 100 <laughs> percent. so i'd rather pass this on to a subscriber you know some some a youtube friend that could use it so that's our next auction line and it has its original box it has its ac adapter you know and it works fine like I said, I've wiped it. Fresh install of Windows 7. Let me see what these puppies are up to. Get over here. Oh, just knocked my head. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, the, the laptop is good. So next up is our hat lot. Ooh. These are some awesome hats. And I love hats, um, of course. <laughs> Don't rag on me about my hat. Um, let's see here. Okay, there's a mixed lot of sports hats, some new, some used, and some really cool vintage hats. I mean, like some of these vintage hats, I haven't even comped them. And 
some vintage hats can go from 50 to a hundred dollars, but I'm not going to comp them. That's not going to because yeah, let you guys decide to me. I put in the general numbers, 35 hats. These at a minimum will bring $10 a piece minimum. So that's $350 that they'll bring on eBay. And you know, if you do an average of $20 perhaps the $700, but so probably somewhere between 350 and $700, there could be a hundred dollar hat in here though. You be the judge. So, cause we have like this, uh, this one's obviously wrecked, but you can, you know, rehab this. This is the, uh, a vintage trucker's hat from the 1980 Lake Placid games. Yes. That's the one with the miracle on ice, you know, where the, uh, our Olympic team beat the Russians and went on to win the gold medal. Yeah. Vintage city. This is by just a tab. Like I said, it's seen better days, but really cool piece of history right there. So this uh, Huber Manufacturing and Company vintage hat. Pretty cool stuff. This one's by KC. We won't go through all of them, but I wanted to. Well, maybe we will. If you guys want to see all of them, we'll go through every freaking one of them. <laughs> That's right. My sister and my niece, uh, you know, my, my niece is getting her wisdom teeth out, but uh, my niece is coming to house set when we're gone on vacation, which she usually does for us. So, uh, but my uh, sister is going to drive her out with my uh, nephew as well. So my sister and my niece and my nephew, and maybe my niece's boyfriend, I don't know, uh, will be coming out, <laughs> staying with us. But then my sister will drive back to Arkansas and my niece is going to stay here and we're going to put her on a flight when we get back and send her back home. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. So I got this vintage Bama hat. This still has its, I mean, this isn't a high end hat by any stretch, but it's still pretty cool. Bama. And it still has this original Walmart sticker on it. Check that out. That is definitely vintage Walmart. <laughs> we got a couple of military covers. The fatigue military covers. This is like a winter one. It has the and it has the uh, major insignia on it. Insignia, major lieutenant colonel. You know. Okay. This vintage Santa Maria America's Cup hat boat U.S. See a Cup ninety four. I don't. Know. So pretty cool. Got a safari hat. Needs a little washing up. And this is by this is by the Ultimate Hat Company. Pretty cool. I've sold a bunch of those safari hats, and they sell pretty quickly. This one's really cool. Uh, it's dirty, but I left it as I found it because I didn't want to mess it up or anything. This is a railroad hat, and this is from 1979, Washington D.C. Capital Limited National Railway His Rail Railway Historical Society 1979 Convention. Check that out. That is really neat. Thought that was really cool. Got two of these Texas Instruments World Series double header hats, Micro Laser LT286. Two of them. These are like new. What those will bring, I have no idea. Got a cool winged Mercedes Benz vintage hat. Got a Batman and an Iron Man. These are they're not new, but they're they're in pretty good condition. Got a vintage Cardinals hat. This is a this is by Twins Enterprises. If you've done vintage hats, you know about Twins Enterprises. So, if John's still in here, John, you still in here? John, the Cincinnati Picker. We got two. Where you at, John? <laughs> we got two vintage Cincinnati Reds hats, and these are these are also by Twins Enterprises. 
Yep, both of them. Just a little reshaping, and those will be <clears throat> those will be good as new. Pretty cool stuff. Causing an <coughs> avalanche up there. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Next up, we got a vintage Arlington National Cemetery hat. And this is in like new condition. I don't think it ever was worn. I think someone bought this as a souvenir and set it on the shelf. This is by Wearguard. Never been to Arlington. That's a really cool thing. Got this, the big pony Ralph Lauren polo by Ralph Lauren hat, with the big ponies. This one definitely needs to be washed up. It's got some staining, but it could be, it could be repaired. And another Batman hat. This one is a, a 59, 5950 new era. Redskins team Glock. Pretty cool hat. This one, like I said, it's it's used, but it is like new. I mean, there's no sweatband staining anything. Pretty cool. I got a vintage Mizzou hat, Missouri Tigers. And this one's again like new. This is made in USA by University Square. This still has it is new. It still has the Missouri vintage bookstore tag on it. Cool. I've been to the Mizzou bookstore a few times. This cost eleven dollars, ten dollars and ninety-eight cents in nineteen eighty. Cool. A Dell Earnhardt Jr. 1998 Bush Series Grand National Division Champion hat. Junior just retired. So Savannah 1996 Olympic yachting. Chicago Blackhawks Zephyr hat, brand new. Another small pony, Ralph Lauren polo hat, used but in good condition. This cool foam front Coca-Cola hat. This is a vintage trucker foam front hat. And this just says, made in USA. It doesn't say who made it. Pretty cool. And a Yankee Stadium, April 3rd and 4th, 2009, the Cubs and the Yankees. Pretty cool. A Sturgis Bike Week 2003. A JDS Tokiwa AOE 423 military hat. This is a Japanese, or I think Japanese military hat. We got a Stanley Cup Champions. I think that's Colorado Avalanche, 1996. Another cool Yankees hat with the uh, flag on it. What is that, the Cuban flag or Puerto Rican flag? One of them, I'm pretty sure. Another brown pinstripe Yankees hat. Kind of weird having a brown pinstripe hat. Yankees. Yankee stuff sells pretty well, so I used to pick it up when I saw it. And this one has the uh, kind of the New York City skyline, New York Yankees hat. I don't know if that's the Bronx or what, but uh, could be. And the last one is a Cardinals hat. Like new, this one has a World Series 2011 patch on the side. This thing's like new. It's not brand new, but it's like new. It's uh, the only thing bad is this is fitted at seven three eighths, but still really cool. All right, that's our hat lot. Get these put back up in the box. All right. <sighs> hey, Tommy, how's it going, man? Just showing the hat lot. 
Get these put back in the box. Pull these down. All right. Puerto Rico, that's what I figured. <laughs> Thank you, Maria. So, yeah, I got the uh, the games. I showed the laptop and the hats, and we have the two mystery boxes. And I am still on the hunt for those inaugural invitations in the comic books. And I'm going to hopefully find those today. You ever put something away, and you're like, I'll remember if I put it here. Yeah, I have no idea where I put, put those things. So, yeah. Hopefully this auction will do well. Raise some money for the vacation. Some spending money. That'd be nice. Oh, this is something else I want to run by any everyone that's in here. Hopefully people are still in here. Yeah, we got 30 watching. So uh, I have a big, big back stock of unlisted coffee mugs. The only bad thing about coffee mugs is it's expensive to ship them. They're, you know, a coffee mug in general, just the general rule is about a pound. You rarely can squeak a coffee mug into first class. It's usually, you know, a pound, pound, four or five ounces or so. So uh, I'm considering if there's interest doing like a lot of 35 or so coffee mugs. You know, and they'd be shipped in the same box, of course. And I did the uh, shipping calculations. Like if I ship 35 mugs close to where I am, it would cost $25 and 18 cents out to California, it'd be pretty expensive, like, you know, 60 to $90, you know, depending on, you know, UPS, FedEx, postal service, all that stuff. So, uh, but you guys let me know, you can let me know here. You can let me know in the comments section, uh, if this video is wrapped up and you're watching it later, if you're interested in mug lots, because I could definitely, uh, clear out some space and I probably have a couple hundred unlisted, uh, be nice to move on. Of course, you know, you know, I'd like to make a few dollars and I want you to make a few dollars too, but these mugs, I sell them consistently from 10 to $25. You know, I sell mugs every month. You see them in my sold videos. So at 35 mugs, you know, at $10, that's $350 potentially on eBay. And if, uh, get my calculator up here. Yeah, 350 to all the way up to $875 at $25 a piece, which they're not all going to sell for $25 a piece. Most of them are going to be in that $10 to $20 range, but I have sold mugs $20, $25, $30 before. Uh, and I wouldn't cherry pick. You know, I would I, I would open a bin and literally like this entire bin's going in the box that this person's going to buy. So if anyone's interested in that, just let me know and we can put together a mug lot pretty easily. But, uh, I would probably start the bidding out and it's probably like a buck a mug. So, uh, you know, one box would be starting at $35 just because, you know, we want to make a little bit. We've, we pay anywhere from 50 cents all the way up to $2 per mug. So, yeah. Yeah. Just let me know if you're interested. Just wanted to put that out there. Oh boy. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it. I think that uh, if anybody has any questions, of course, shoot, uh, yeah, eBay, Amazon, or otherwise, I've, I've been sourcing some stuff from a pseudo secret source that I've been selling on Amazon. And I found one item that's been selling really well. I wish I could tell you guys, but it, just like Scott, the beard picker talks about, you gotta get the getting while it's hot, you know? And, uh, if this Peter's out eventually, I'll, uh, I'll let you know what that item was and tell you all about it. And Michelle, I don't have the space, but that would be a good way to start a mini niche. Yep, absolutely. Good morning, Turtle Trader. How are you doing this morning? Thank you for popping in. So we've already, we talked about the auction lots. And like I said, if any interest in mug lots, let me know. I will definitely hook that up. But Amazon, oh, I got an interesting story about Amazon. Anybody here sell on Amazon besides me? I do Merchant Fulfilled. I don't have a professional account I used to. I just don't have the volume to send in to FBA. But, you know, at thrift stores, I'll find something every once in a while. Merchant Fulfilled, and it does pretty well. In general, I sell about 1000 to 1500 bucks a month on Amazon. Just in, that's a general rule. 
Uh, Jackie, I will have all that information the night of the auction. I have not calculated the shipping and everything yet, but they are pretty hefty. I, if I had to guess just off the top of my head, 10 to 15 pounds. That's just a total guess. But they are, they're even, I even had to put them in bigger boxes. I was using those 12 by 12 by 8 priority mail boxes. I bumped the boxes up to a little bit bigger boxes because I wanted to put more stuff in there and get rid of this stuff. So, <laughs> um, I was talking about Amazon. So on Amazon, I have this item that I'm sourcing. It's a brand new item and they've been selling pretty well. Uh, but in general, a thousand, fifteen hundred a month, you know, truly small potatoes compared to someone like these bigger YouTubers and stuff, but pretty good for me. Cause my main thing is eBay, but, uh, I sent out this new item and this is a lesson learned for me. I guess this is a cautionary tale. This item that I'm selling sells for $99.99. It's a hundred bucks. And if you know about Amazon, I do just merchant fulfilled. So Amazon charges the buyer like $5.99 shipping. Well, that doesn't cover it. These this item, it just does not cover it. These items, depending on where someone lives, if they live on the West Coast, this costs me, it's better to put it in a flat rate box. So it costs me about $17.50 to ship or so. And uh, you know, if they're close to me, they cost it cost eight or nine dollars. But so, but I'm coming out of pocket for shipping, but that's just the way Amazon is. Got to cook that into your, your item cost. But being that my shipping isn't even covered at all, I've been kind of in my mind, I've been kind of stingy where I haven't this hundred dollar item. I have not been doing signature confirmation because that's an extra couple bucks. And I'm like, man, that takes, you know, two to 3% of my profit and all this stuff. But all it takes is one time for someone to, you know, be scammy and it, can eat into your profit. So I had a person that ordered one of these items and it showed as delivered, but they said they didn't get it entirely possible. There is porch pirates, people steal packages. There is shady mailmen. They scan it as delivered, and keep it for themselves. Who knows? Totally legitimate. But, uh, so they opened a, uh, a to Z guarantee claim. So I'm totally prepared to eat that money. You know, it's just the way Amazon works. If someone opens a to z they're going to roll against you but i didn't you know i responded to the guy you know i was like sorry that happened have you checked with your meal mail carrier postmaster please talk to your post office blah 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 did that spiel but they still open the a to z claim and it takes amazon a few days sorry they're dancing back there if you can see them but it takes Amazon a few days to process this stuff. But uh, to I totally expected them to come back. Nope, you got to refund this person. They didn't get their item. Case closed. But they didn't. They ruled in my favor, but they didn't say why. Hmm. So it's totally bizarre. The only thing I can think of is that this person has a history of doing this. Because that, in my mind, in my experience with Amazon, that's the only way Amazon's going to side with the seller. As if the buyer has done this numerous times. And that's their pattern because this item showed is delivered, but it's just a cautionary tale that I think from now on with those hundred dollar and up items, I'm going to bite the bullet and pay the, the signature confirmation because if it's signature, con signature confirm, you're more than likely going to be covered. So yeah, they can't claim porch pirates or anything, you know, so. Yeah, they absolutely used to. And I do purchase, uh, most of the time I purchase my shipping through them, you know, especially now that they offer cubic, but, uh, they've even changed that. So that's why I was totally prepared to them rule in the, the buyer's favor, but they didn't, they backed me up. So I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, that's another thing that, you know, Amazon, I have, like I said, a source and I'm having a hard time, you know, being an eBay seller dealing with the margins because on Amazon your margins are slimmer, but your volume is higher, but I still have a problem in my mind. Just as an example, spending $20 on something that I'm going to make a $8 profit on, you know what I mean? But you can buy, say you can buy 50 of this $20 item. You're spending a thousand bucks and you can sell 50 of those items pretty quickly, but you're only making $8 profit after everything, your cost of goods sold, your eBay fees, everything. And you know, you're coming out of pocket for shipping. So eight times 50, you're making 400 bucks. Are you willing to spend a thousand to make 400? A lot of people would say, yeah, it's a no brainer, but you know, I still have a trouble, you know, cause I'm selling on eBay. I'm used to margins being like 
I'm spending 10 bucks on this item. I'm going to make 150. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's a, it's just a mental gymnastics thing, you know, just got to get out of that mindset. If you can do the volume, do it. So, yeah. Yep. I agree, Maria. I'm, you know, yeah, especially on Amazon orders. Yeah, absolutely, Maria. I'm glad that worked out for you, though, too, because there are scammers out there. So, yeah. Yeah. If anybody has anything else, let me know. I think we're about to wrap it up. we got 40 or 45 minutes in. So, yeah, about to wrap it up. Hope everyone enjoyed the auction preview. Uh, yeah. I think there's some good lots, you know, and I'm already working on the, uh, well, we have to wait and see if there's going to be a June auction because we do have that two week vacation in June and that really throws a monkey wrench into things. But, uh, I'm going to see if I can pull off a June auction. We'll put it that way. I already got some stuff in mind for some lots for it. So I'll tell you what, I mean, in my area, it is, people love the jewelry stuff and I get that. It is so hard to source that stuff in my area. I've been looking for months. It's just too expensive. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks, Turtle Trader. I appreciate it. Yeah, I showed the lots off. Showed the, the video games, the hats, the laptop. And, uh, yeah, we have a couple of mystery boxes. Yeah, and, that, and that's in my mind, too, Tommy. I, I like the, the, the quick turnover, you know. So, yeah. We'll see, though. But I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks to our... Uh, uh, I saw Karen Henderson. Karen Henderson's a patron. Appreciate that, Karen. I didn't see Sue Ann or, or, uh, any of our other patrons. I'm trying to rack my brain. Max hustle. Yeah. But anyway, thanks guys. All of our subscribers, you guys are awesome. Appreciate that. But, uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Um, yeah, I'll do the things I promised and I hope our auction turns out well. So yeah, thanks guys. We see, I got to film a what sold video later today as well. So busy day. Need to get some list stuff listed too. So get to work slacker. <laughs> Thanks guys. Bye.